In today's crazy environment, everybody wants to get their hands on what you have and the things that you've worked so hard to create. So whether it's your savings, your gold, your silver, your crypto, or really anything else that's precious to you, it can feel sometimes like you're looking over your shoulder trying to protect it. And as bad as you think that it is, the reality could be even much worse. But fortunately, in Panama, there are safe, secure, offshore bulletproof asset protection solutions that can protect those important assets from anything that the world can throw at them. And today we're going to get into five of the reasons that you need to move some of your precious assets into Panama right now if you want to sleep better at night knowing that they're 100% protected. That's all coming up right now on Renegade News. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. It's our mission to help you break free from the system, pay less tax, and live anywhere in the world that you want. So smash those subscribe and the notification buttons, and let's get right into it. Everyone wants something for nothing. We live in a more litigious society than we ever have before, and successful people are becoming more and more of a target. So whether it's an ex-employee, an ex-spouse, customers, or just somebody that you run into on the street, people are getting sued for almost everything these days. I mean, there's one guy who sued the Kardashians and Kanye West for conspiring with Al-Qaeda, and a judge who filed a $67 million lawsuit over a pair of pants. And people have sued for things like air in recess pieces bags. And these may all seem like silly cases, but sometimes these silly cases result in a win or a settlement, and in almost all cases, they would cost you money. But if you have assets stored securely in Panama, they are completely undiscoverable and untouchable, regardless of how good of a case a plaintiff or a lawyer has against you. Number two, piercing that corporate veil and finding everything that you own within your own country is much easier than you think. If you own a business, that business is even a bigger target. And piercing the corporate veil is easy. So it's not just your business that's at risk, it's also your personally. So if your business gets sued, the plaintiff's lawyer can also come after you personally for everything that you have. Once that veil is pierced, you're going to be on the hook for all of your company's debts. And believe me, these ambulance chasers, they're experts at finding everything that you own. Remember also that lawyers are experts at making a case for anything they want. And just because you say you aren't guilty of fraud or neglect or whatever you're being sued from doesn't mean that they're not going to be able to make some kind of a compelling case that says that you were. So even if the case is completely ridiculous and it ends in your favor, the cost can still range from $50,000 well into the six figures before it even gets to court. But if the lawyers for the plaintiff can't find your assets because they're kept in an offshore vault or safety deposit box, you're not going to be a target at all. No lawyer is going to spend all of that time and money coming after you when they know they can't touch your assets. Which brings us to number three, which the governments, who are always looking for every dollar they can get their hands on, and they aren't above confiscating what belongs to you to get it. Gold was made illegal by Franklin D. Roosevelt back in 1933, and it remained illegal until 1974. If you were caught with any gold, you would be fined twice the value of that gold, and it would be confiscated anyway. Do you really think that they're beyond doing that again? Especially given the respect that some of the politicians who are currently in power have for the New Deal? And what about your digital gold, like Bitcoin? Billionaire investor Ray Dalio thinks that it's a sure thing that Bitcoin is going to become illegal, at least in the short term. And we know that Jen Yellen and Stanford University have all called for making Bitcoin and other cryptos illegal. So that means that if the government tells you that you have to turn over your wallets and your private keys, they're not really going to give you a choice. Do you really think that you're going to have time to safely remove them from your vault at home if the cops bang down your door during the night on a no-knock raid? In Panama, you can safely store your hard wallets, your private keys, all your information in a safe, secure safety deposit box or in a shared vault. And no one, not even the vault staff, will know what it is that you have in there. And they can even provide confiscation insurance, so if the impossible happens and gold and other precious items are confiscated, you're still going to be protected. Number four, banks and safety deposit boxes in the West, Canada, US, Britain are not private or safe. There have been numerous examples of banks allowing government officials into safety deposit boxes all over the place. For example, recently, multiple Bank of America clients in the West, on the West Coast, 
had their contents of the safety deposit boxes open and raided without any notice whatsoever. But this totally isn't unique and has happened also in the UK, it's happened in Hong Kong. And in fact, the US Department of Homeland Security has told banks in writing that they can inspect safety deposit boxes anytime they want without a warrant, and they can seize any gold, silver, guns, or any other valuables they find in those boxes. The privacy of Panama vaults is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. And beyond a few KYC documents just to prove that you're not a terrorist, the vault staff and the owners really don't know anything about you, and they don't care what you're storing in your box outside of a few prohibited dangerous materials. Number five, Panama is one of the safest countries to move anything offshore to. Panama has long been a uh, banking and an offshore hub, and it's one of the most convenient offshore locations in the world. It has a stable banking system and a democratic government. It's centrally located and it's known as the hub of the Americas and has been for hundreds of years. They have a super friendly tax structure within the country and they have these large tax-free zones. They're also only two and a half hours from Miami, four and a half hours from Houston and Newark and about six and a half hours from LAX. They have, like I said earlier, the most rigorous privacy laws in the world. They have a first world infrastructure. They're very safe and secure. They have high-end hotels to choose from if you're visiting your assets offshore, and they have a beautiful city nightlife, restaurants, beaches, and mountains to visit while you're doing it. As the world descends further into this chaos due to the rampant money printing we're seeing, the pandemic, and all of the bad monetary policy that's falling out of it, it's more than important than ever to make sure that your gold, silver, crypto, and your other assets are 100% secure. If you'd like to learn more about vaulting in Panama and safety deposit options, there's a link right down in the description. We can help connect you with a vault that's completely secure from theft, confiscation, lawsuits, fire, flood, and anything else that you can imagine. I've seen the facilities, they're absolutely incredible. They guarantee that your gold, silver, and all your other precious assets, your hard wallets, they're all 100% protected and they're insured with world-class insurance for no matter what happens. Also, if you're interested to see what else Panem has to offer, watch the video that's on your screen right now. And don't forget to follow Renegade News so that every week you discover the latest infringements and wins in your pursuit of more freedom and liberty in this unfree world.